her. And uh, my show is called East 10th Street, Self-Portrait with Empty House. And it's um, about my life and uh, with my sister Helen in this old rooming house in New York where we both lived together for many years. Um, and all the adventures that we had there with the strange and amazing and, and pretty loony other rumors there in the rooming house over the years and how I eventually wound up there alone as the last one rooming there. And Donald would stand behind his door at the peephole and he would lie in wait for Francis. And when Francis passed by, bearing her enamel wash basin, Donald would fling his door open and he would spray Francis with roach killer from a gigantic industrial strength roach spray gun while laughing maniacally at the top of his lungs. And Francis would scream and she would dance up and down from foot to foot and she would shriek, I'm going to give you a brain operation. We ran away together to Paris when I was 18. When I was 21, I came to New York and found the house on 10th Street. And then Helen wound up joining me there and we lived there together for many years. Um, Helen is a painter, a really amazing painter. And sculptor. Um, often she paints people, portraits. Did she paint some of the people that lived in the building? Um, well, actually, no, Helen never did paint any of the other rumors there, mainly, I think, because <laughs> they were always trying to kill us. <laughs> Freddie Feld the midget cabalist, this tiny, thin little man of about 35 with huge, bulging, frantic eyes that were constantly racing around in his skull as though trying to escape from his head. I hope that, you know, people get the experience of having been there and, and having known, I hope they get to know all these strange and amazing people who lived there with me and Helen. And there, kneeling at the threshold, was Freddy, naked, scratching at the base of our door. And as he scratched, he was weeping and saying over and over, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know you're not trying to drive me insane. So it's kind of an ode to all these people, these strange tenants of this rooming house who are now gone. And, uh, and an ode to love and an ode to solitude.